Hey guys, and welcome to Quality Shot. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, of course, and like, comment, and share the vids. Thank you very much. And if I haven't said it to you guys already, Happy New Year. Okay, so first test match of 2021. New Zealand versus Pakistan, the second test, day one. I'm going to go through it. Yes, I know, I'm by myself. It's sad, but, you know, can't always have everyone on. So I'm going to have to do it by myself at some point <laughs> rather than uh, having discussions with others. But it's always good to have people on, of course. So let's go through this then because a little bit of a topsy-turvy day, to be honest with you. Pakistan started off not very well with Tim Southie getting Shah Massoud out for a duck. Shah Massoud just not looking good. Tim Southie set him up, went short back of a length, back of a length, back of a length, and then uh, got that ball to come in. Uh, that in-swing uh, in swing Yorker from Tim Southie, which was a toe crunch, actually, for Sean Massoud. He reviewed it, uh, but it was in vain. Just absolutely plumbed to honestly the well bowled Tim Southie, and Sean Massoud will be disappointed not to score at all. However, though, after that, Abid Ali and Azra Ali uh, got on a little bit of a roll. Uh, a few fortunate, let's say, boundaries uh, nicking through uh, the slip cordon, especially from Jameson, uh, was uh, one of the uh, victims of those edges for sure. And Abd Ali and Azarali really, they they got onto a little bit of, of a partnership and eventually uh, put on 62 until Abd Ali fell. Uh, Jameson getting him, and I mean, I'm going to be mentioning Jameson's name quite a bit because he was really. Uh, the one wreaking havoc on Pakistan uh, throughout this innings. Again, just six foot eight, runs in, uh, uses the crease very well, doesn't just run uh, close to the umpire and tight to the crease, uh, the stumps are even. He also uses uh, the crease and bowls uh, wide on the crease. And what it means is that he also will get that angle to come into the batsman. And then if he's able to seam the ball away, which he is able to do, or even swing the ball away, then it, it makes it very, very uncertain as a batsman to know whether to play or not to play on that off stump because of the angle as well. And it gives you an extra factor to think about. He's a very, very clever bowler, uh, seems to be able, seems, has a very big in swinger, can get a little bit of an out swinger there as going as well, and gets movement off the seam both ways. So he is an extremely talented bowler, and he obviously gets an extra bounce being six foot eight. And Look, I mean, he was just quality today, um, but I'll touch upon him more in detail after going through uh, Pakistan's batting. Um, but yeah, so Azhar Ali, look, the pick of the players with Pakistan obviously posting 297 all out if you're unaware um, after the first day. Uh, rain, I guess, being a little bit in Pakistan's favour as well and at times. But look, I mean, after that 66 for two, with Abd Ali in, uh, you've got Haris Sahel and Azhar Ali. And really, Haris Sahel I'm looking at, and I do rate him, I really do, but again, very disappointing. No runs for him. Uh, you know, obviously out for one, um, Jameson again getting him. Now you're thinking, okay, Fahd Alam, the man in form's coming. This is going to be okay, say the ship. But what ends up happening is he also falls again to Jameson, and Pakistan lose. 17 sorry three wickets for 17 runs which is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination and one thing i have to point out though and actually i think i'll touch upon jameson throughout while going through the innings because obviously it's only pakistan's innings to discuss carl jameson as i said very very good bowler but in terms of his lengths he actually bowls a relatively fuller length for someone of his height and who gets the type of bounce that he gets. And what it means is that he's constantly asking the batsman whether they should play or not, saying, OK, I'm going to put it on this spot here. And he's constantly challenging them. He's not just saying, OK, one thing that I used to, a good example actually that I have is uh, Freddie Flintoff. Fantastic bowler, right? Really, really good. But the reason why his stats are not as good as maybe you'd think or maybe as good as you would expect is because he used to bowl a lot of deliveries, which batsmen would just be able to leave and not just leave on line, but on length as well. And it would be back of a length, 
and that four fifth stump and they'd know look we can probably leave that and they would leave and they'd leave well uh, similarly with Carl Jameson obviously he is even taller but he doesn't do that he gets that ball up there and pushes it forward as much as he can to be that wicket taking option and this ball though to Fawaz Alam was one of those rare occasions where he did really utilize that height and he basically bowled a very, very vicious bouncer towards Fawaz Alam that basically followed him and he went to fend it off basically. I think actually initially he wanted to sway out the way, but he just couldn't because he was he just couldn't get out of the way of the ball. And eventually he just ended up basically going like this. Uh, and it came off his glove and looped straight to I think it was uh, first slip uh, sorry my mistake uh, to the keeper in BJ Watling and yeah I mean just just disappointing obviously because he hit a very good 100 but it's a, it's a cracking delivery to get and there's not really too much you could have done about it so I'm not too disappointed just a little bit you know a little bit I'm not upset I think that's the wrong word to say but not I think it's a missed opportunity for Fahad Alam, obviously, to then cash in in that form. So hopefully in the second he can get some as well, because obviously he's he's not in bad form. Uh, but Jameson got him with a very, very good ball, it has to be said. So Harris Sahel fell for one and Fahad Alam on two, after Abd Ali fell for 25 and uh, Shah Masood on zero. Uh, in came Mohamed Rizwan. Now, he really is the man in form for Pakistan. Three 50s in his last uh, three innings. And he made it for 61 from Muhammad Rizwan. And what a... Wow. And sorry, uh, I said he scored two 50s in his last two innings. He made it three in three. 61 off 71 balls. A very, very well-constructed knock from him. And him and Azarali gave uh, Pakistan again the momentum and uh, put on... Well, a 90, sorry, an 88 run partnership, which again is very, very impressive. Unfortunately, you know, they weren't able to put on more uh, with his on falling and eventually to, yeah, you guessed it, Carl Jameson uh, getting Rizwan to uh, flash outside the off stump and uh, BJ Watling taking a kind of regulation catch, really. Azarali, I think, as I said, the standout 93 of 172 balls, 12 fours, uh, one of the shots, I think. Uh, that he he used and used sparingly, but effectively at the right times was that on drive uh, that I'm sure you would have seen. And he it's just quality, just a punch down the ground, uh, you know, just between the stumps, between uh, mid on. That's where he's looking to go, and it just means that he's able to trust himself more going down rather than flicking there, which I feel like sometimes he would do. He tried to flick almost in front of square rather than going on that undrive. And uh, he utilised that really well. And Fahim with a good knock of 48 as well. Again, looking good with the bat, I have to say. Um, Fahim Ashraf, I'm happy to see him get runs. So, I mean, look, when Mohamed Jazwan fell, we were 171 for five. So we're looking in a decentish position uh, with obviously Azrali set. But Azrali falling at 227 for six. Um, then it's kind of a case of how much can we get from this? And I think Pakistan would have been thinking in their head, we need to get around 300 or ideally pass that 300 mark because I have to say this green top is not easy to bat on. Uh, it was doing bits early on, early doors. And I don't think New Zealand maybe utilise the conditions as much as they should have in that first hour, say. Obviously, uh, there were a few wickets that fell then later on in a, in a kind of bunch, as I said especially those three wickets of Abid, uh, Ali, Haris, Sahel and Fawad Alam. But look, I, I just think Pakistan will be a little bit happy about this. Um, as I said, Fahim Ashraf, 48 of 88. And then also uh, Zafra Gohar, very, very impressive, uh, 34. And it, it, look, everything helps. And I know it sounds like I'm saying, you know, I'm really, really applauding a 34. But considering he's not in there for his batting, he's in there for his bowling, uh, he's someone who can give uh, you know left arm uh, spin and also he can bat a little bit as well and on his debut I thought was very very impressive to hit 34 62 and he looked good until he pulled <laughs> um, it was Southie in the end uh, straight to Carl Jameson at fine leg but 
look, a good knock from him and, and valuable runs. After that, obviously, Shaheen and uh, Muhammad Abbas, nothing to mention. Nassim Shah hit a couple of fours, but ended up uh, getting out on 12. And Bolt cleaned up that tail of Shaheen and Nassim. And after James had done the damage, getting out Haris Sahel, Fawad Alam, Abid Ali, Muhammad Rizwan, and uh, Fahim Ashraf. So Azra Ali actually fell to Matt Henry, who didn't have a fantastic day. He went at an economy of fours. Uh, but I think Pakistan targeted him because he was going to be a bit more rusty considering he hasn't really played test cricket in a little bit of time and obviously coming in for the injured Neil Wagner, which, uh, yeah, I think was, it's obviously a big miss because he's broken his toes and he is seen as being uh, that bowler for New Zealand in the middle overs, uh, especially in tandem with Carl Jameson. Uh, they obviously dropped, sorry, they also dropped uh, Mitchell Santner for Darren Mitchell. Um, I think that's more tactical because of the green top. And Darren Mitchell gives you kind of medium pace seam option. And Zafar Goa, as I mentioned, uh, was making his test debut. He came in for Yasser Shah. Yeah, I mean, on the whole, I'll be happy. I'm happy uh, as a Pakistani fan uh, that we got near that 300 mark. I think it is definitely a decent to- total on this track. Uh, it is a green top. It's, as I said, it's doing bits. It's seeming a swing. And I think if Pakistan utilise especially the new ball, and that f- I always say this for every single test match, but the first session of each day for me normally gives you an indication of how the day is going to go. If Pakistan can get early wickets, Tom Latham, Tom Blundell, if they even get King Williamson, then we're really in the money, and I, and I really mean that. I think uh, Pakistan are looking strong then to go on and do something here, so fingers crossed that we can do it. And look well, bold Carl Jameson, Pfeiffer for him. As I said, Trent Bolt got a bit of tap and just an economy of under uh, four. But picked up wickets late on and Tim Southey was very, very impressive at early doors. And Matt Henry, as I said, a little bit expensive from him, but picked up the vital wicket of Azrali and has a really beautiful outswing, actually, uh, to watch. But anyway, as I said, um, happy as a Pakistani fan. And Carl Jameson, for me, the inform bowler uh, in test cricket. And if, in my opinion, he's probably the best test bowler around at the moment uh, in terms of form-wise. Hopefully, uh, you know, the Pakistan bowlers, I think Shaheen Afridi and Naseem Shah are going to be integral, especially early doors to get wickets. And Mohammad Abbas is going to have to really attack those stumps and adjust his line a little bit because he's just he's very miserly and he does a good containing job but he doesn't pick up enough wickets for my liking uh, someone of his skill. So hopefully he can as well. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you really enjoy this video as well. Of course, please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help. So please make sure you do if you are watching the videos and enjoying the videos. And if there's anything that you think I, that, can be, that could be improved even, uh, please let me know. Uh, whether it's uh, on videos like this or Venus Cricket Catch Up or my boxing videos, if you watch those, or even the collaborations, uh, whatever it might be. And also, please check out um, Venus Cricket Catch Up, uh, which will be uploading around the same time as this video. And also, uh, please make sure you check out, which is a really cool video with six of us, the 2020 Cricket Awards video. That's Quality Shots inaugural uh, 2020 Cricket Awards. Please check it out. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and stay safe. Thank you very much.